How's it going? Thanks for joining me. Take a look at this. I saw this magazine. It's C Bullshit. See that? C Bullshit with the Azika virus on it. Now take a look at this. If you open up this magazine, you'll see every single page says something at, this, at the top. It says, at the top of every page, clearly it says C BS, as in bullshit. But there's one page in the magazine that doesn't say that. It's this one. It says life on top. And what they're telling you is that this is what you're living on, a flat earth plane, and that the sun is a disc. When you put that on your tongue, when you go into the church and you take communion, okay, sorry, disc over it. This is the flat earth plane. You see it's gray because it's transgender. One side of a light hole is a black hole. And it's clearly showing you that Jesus places his light into the hole and out from that hole comes the green astral light hits the parabolic mirror and showers down on you like making it rain okay and just like a Christmas tree you see the light spiraling around and a stripper spins around the pole like that this is inescapable stuff there's no way to fuck this up now I see people making these videos like the Anokai shit and it's just like the alien thing aliens are a-L-I-E is telling you a lie N. And I, they're telling you that they're lying. Just like they're telling you over here. I con you and America and Americans. Or clearly, it says I con you. Just like aliens are a lie, there's no way to fuck it up. So you see this rainbow they're rubbing in your face over here with this planetary okay report this is just some funny ass shit you ever seen this magazine everything is bullshit in here and it's just crazy I just can't believe that people buy into this stuff but it is what it is people and there's a dome up there it's it's just like this it's the circle inside of the square Jesus places his light into the hole at the center of the dish now here's the new stuff you ready Okay, I got a whole new series of stuff that I'm going to be covering. And I'm going to start off with your mortgage. Okay, banks do not loan money, people. They never loan money. How it works is this way. What they hid from you is that they monetize your promissory note. And that you're not supposed to sign the deed of trust. Because the second you sign that promissory note, they deposit it right into their bank as cash. Did you hear what I said? They monetized your notes without telling you. So you sign a promissory note, they deposit it into their bank in cash, and you own your home free and clear. But then like an idiot, you go sign a deed of trust and then hand it over to them. And that means that you pay for the house once, you're paying for the house twice, okay? Because you got all those payments to make and all the interest paying for it three times. But then if you default and you go 91 days late, guess what happens? The insurance pays off on the loan. And they're paid in full. So it's clear that the banks are fucking you every which way from Sunday. Banks do not loan money. How they create money is they get people to take a fake loan out. They don't actually give you real funds. They give you a check, a cashier's check, or something like that. And then you go deposit that into your bank. And then they're able uh, you know, to loan up ten times that amount. It's that people don't hide wads of cash underneath their mattresses anymore they take their cashier's check and they put it into their bank so nothing's actually changed. it's fake money and what i'm telling you is that if you go look up the reality of lending you're going to find out a lot of shit and this is the shit you're going to find out okay banks do not loan money there's the mers or the robo signing transfer and how they're this is how much they've stolen Twelve hundred trillion dollars have been stolen, and it's called the Libor Bank Scam, which I see in reverse as lie rob. Okay, so there's you need an unbroken chain of title for them to, to foreclose on your property, and because of the MERS system, there is no paper trail. Okay, and what they did is the minute you sign that promissory note, what they did is they monetized that promissory note. And they deposited it into the bank as cash, okay? And then they sold, uh, they sold the deed of trust off, and 
you have the MERS system. There's no trail of paper. And this has changed hands over and over and over with every bank that's been bought and sold out and went out of business. Okay? It's just crazy. So, let's just make sure you wanted to see this one more time. You go into the bank and you want to buy a home. Banks never, they never loan money. Look it up. You sign a promissory note first. And then you sign the deed of trust. When you were done signing the promissory note, you were supposed to walk out. The home is owned by you in full, free and clear. But then you go and sign a deed of trust and you hand it over to the bank after you already own the home. So you paid for the home once right there with your promissory note. Then they took out insurance on this. So if you default, when the minute you go 91 days late, the insurance pays off and the house is paid for again. Plus you have all the interest payments and everything. It's that you paid for this house like four times over. It's crazy. When you owned it outright the second you signed that promissory note. So next time you buy a property, you can't let them know that you know this. But the second the promissory note is signed, you're able to walk out free and clear. You don't sign the deed of trust and there's nothing they can do. Did you hear what I said? That's a fact. Go look it up. Now the next line of videos I'm coming out with, they're going to go very, very deep into your reality. It's going to blow your fucking mind. All right? Give me a couple of days. I'll get that stuff up.